Hello, everyone. This is JCK, and thanks for joining me today on Quantum Truths JCK. This is a quick intro to the following video that I recorded a couple of days ago. And, you know, I'm always trying to share with you what I'm doing for myself, for my health, and things like that. And I think that this is an incredible discovery on my part, something that I had wanted to do and it was long overdue for a long time and that was join Jeremy Ayres's protocol Dr. Jeremy Ayres um, he's created his own new website Naturally Better and I cannot find a flaw in the protocol at all I've been around for a long time I'm 46 years old I have been going on diets since I was 7 and um I really have learned and retained a lot of knowledge about the human body and what makes things go well and what makes things go bad, what works and what doesn't. The problem is that although I have all this knowledge, I need help. And I have witnessed over the last few months, this is the other thing, I couldn't just share with you what I was doing as soon as I signed up. I had to practice it and live it and experience it and be in the chat and and witness what Jeremy does before I share it with you because it's magic. It really is. It is the most holistic protocol I've ever seen in my life. Um, every day, more and more pieces of the puzzle of my life, my healing starts to fall into place and it's not just the physical body jeremy is so knowledgeable about the metaphysical world about how that affects us and so you end up with this package that is so holistic and the community that is created from it is so supportive there is a wealth of knowledge there and I know for a fact that this man has helped heal thousands of people all over the world from things that would be deemed as terminal. And so I know a lot of you are going through your own trials and tribulations with your health. And I want to invite you on this journey with me. I'm putting myself out there and I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm putting myself out there because I have suffered my whole life with health issues from the time I was a very small child. And with the help of Jeremy, I have, through my one-on-one -on -one consultations with him, I've worked out what those things are and what is causing those things and how to undo them. And these are traumas and these are things that I have inherited and these are patterns of behavior. So I'm inviting you all, please come with me on this journey and please heal yourself because the future looks bright but it's not going to be bright if we're all really unhealthy and sick. And so we've got to get into our best physical bodies to create a new world that's what i believe and so if you want to join me look on the links below and join us please join please listen and stay tuned for this video this interview and you will listen from his own words and i hope that something will click for you for you to share these links either with family members who need help or for yourself this is not just about weight loss it's not. We have people of all sorts joining the program and I am doing it and I want to do it with you and I want to put myself on the line and be the example for you so that you can see someone who has had so many hormonal disruptions in their life and massive stress in the last few years that has completely um, caused major disruptions to my hormonal health and my health in general to the point of burnout and I'm finally healing from that because of Jeremy so I want you to stay tuned and 
share with me your experiences. I love you all. I'll see you on the flip side. You know, I've been sharing my journey in spiritual um, expansion and my health journey and all my little foibles with you for a very, very long time. And a lot of you do know that I've recently come out of a, you know, a really sort of big shift in my health. And I have to say that one of the reasons why I have um, been so um, transformed is because of my next guests. And this is uh, someone who I have been wanting to interview forever. And I think the last time we did it was early 2022. I think that was the last time we spoke, right, Jeremy? Could be. So this is Jeremy Ayres. You may recognize him. And he's Graham Norbury right there at the bottom. I think he might be on the bottom of your screen. And of course, Monique Rom. And Jeremy is from naturally better with jeremy Ayres. he is one of the red pill revolution guys and so is graham and uh i'm br i've brought them on because i wanted to share with you how you could benefit from everything that jeremy is about to say i'm currently doing a 90 day challenge with um jeremy's help and his team and this has transformed me already internally and i think this year is the year of the transformation and of putting everything into practice that we've learned, especially for a lot of us over the last three years. So Jeremy, please tell me, tell me everything you need to tell me about your incredible challenge. I already know about it, but nobody else, we need to tell everybody else. Yeah, well, well, thank you for having us on. You know, we call it the J team. That's what, <laughs> that's what it's become. And, and, and I, I, I laugh, but 30 years I've been working and researching at this and trying to form a team over the last 10 years particularly and have, have not succeeded. Um, well, I have succeeded, but not to the level that I wanted to. And this team, along with John Gusty, who's, who will be up front this year, hopefully, but he's the behind the scenes making a lot of these things possible, as is Monique. You know, this this team just came together. Um, the JeremyAs.com, the 90-day challenge that I've set up, which I set up last year with Mark, um, I was actually very nervous about setting it up in the beginning because I've only ever worked one-to-one. -one. And the reason I've only worked one-to-one, -one, and I know you know this, and I think a lot of your audience will understand this, is because although we can teach the philosophy of healing and the philosophy of dis-ease, and we can make generalizations and a general protocol, which I've written. My concerns about doing it public, even though it's a private group, so that you're not, you know, you're not exposed to the uh, uh, YouTube and public, so to speak, it's in a private members area. My concern was that I know how powerful the knowledge I have is at transforming people's health, their weight, you know, just about everything. But it, um, as it starts to work the body opens and it will start to release not only toxins. I mean, my main statement is you're not sick, you're toxic, <clears throat> but also trauma. And most people, and I've even worked with trauma counselors one-to-one, -one, most people believe they've dealt with that trauma or the belief systems or the patterns or karma, whatever it is. And until you do this, and as you know, you know, up it comes again. And so I was very worried initially um, and it turns out to be totally unfounded, but I was very worried that I was going, you know, we had over 1400 people last year that I was going to have a mental asylum of people detoxing and in all kinds of states of trouble. And I just wouldn't be able to manage it. And, and all that, all that would be fed back was, Oh my God, he made me so ill. And so, however, the opposite has happened. Uh, and this absolutely exceptional community of people, has come together who have not only <clears throat> gone through releases, doubts, jumping off the wagon, self-sabotaging, all these things that many people have heard of, but they've actually stuck at it and supported each other and no one's judging. It's, it's like, no, you got this girlfriend and get back on and all that. So, you know, uh, it, it is, it, it, it's been 
one of if not the greatest thing i've ever done and it is now i've structured this year with monique and john and i wanted graham i call graham my right hand man but he's always on my left in the vlogs and videos <laughs> yeah um <laughs> But but I wanted Graham on board because Graham is not only a very dear friend of mine, he's neighbor. also <laughs> he's a neighbor. Yeah, he's a co-author of the Red Pill Revolution and the soon to be released the Red Pill Food Revolution. And I, and of course I'd say this, but I genuinely believe it's the best book that's coming out yeah. that's ever been written on food ever. Um, and I think Graham would say the same. But Graham is. Um, extremely knowledgeable on many things especially dr jack cruz's work yes. and dr jack cruz is pretty hard to wrap your head around and graham or norbs as we call him has <clears throat> studied that and he has a particular skill and i know the members will nod their heads who have already come across him on our wonderful you know what a lake district walking vlogs but he yeah. is brilliant at breaking down complex subjects into really understandable formats. And that's why I love him that's and asked him to join me. So, it, you know, it, it, as you know, JC, and I'm actually, I have to compliment you. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not doing it just because I'm on your show. I think when someone public like you came on, mm -hmm. I was, I was like, Oh, that's interesting because many people out there with a public, position of whatever size yeah. aren't always the same authentic people on this side of the camera as off okay. camera and it's very um revealing when someone turns up that has an audience and is completely authentic which you've been mm -hmm. you know and and you have helped and and you'll help your audience who i hope yes. many will come and join us together. but you you and it's a real compliment i mean it you've truly helped those that were already in there because, like, oh, my God, someone I know is on, on they usually watch this video. And you have been authentic, which is you've got yeah. issues. You've, you, you, you stuff up. You, you fall off the wagon. And you've helped more people than I think you know. Well, I'll tell you, can I, I want to tell the audience how this happened. <laughs> because I always knew about, you know, you originally started it with this protocol that you started in 2022, in the beginning of the year, with Maximize the Light. And I knew about that. I knew about how brilliant you were. I've always known that. I always, you know, you were spoken of very, very highly. And uh, Monique just constantly would talk about what you'd say. So I was very familiar with the protocol. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've been doing carnivore for like four years, you know. So I know all of this. And I'm a bit of a lay person, kind of like, well, I'm a bit of a science geek sometimes you know so i'm one of those people that's always really really interested in biology and and all of those sorts of things but there just came a point at the end of last year where i was in the shower and i was praying and i'm going i need help come on god what do i do i need help with my health this is ridiculous and this it was like a download it was like talk to jeremy and I was like, no, I can't talk to him. Uh, I didn't even know what you were doing. I hadn't, you know, I hadn't been keeping up with what was going on. And then I, I just go, okay, if it comes to me in the shower, this is a really important thing. And it just all hit at once. Because I remember, I remember when you wrote the protocol for Mark. I remember it. And I remember him saying, you know, he was guided to do this. And in my head in the shower, I heard he wasn't just guided to do this for one person. He was guided to do it for you. And you're going to share it to thousands of people. And you're going to be the example. And that morning, I messaged Monique and I said, Monique, <laughs> can you get me the protocol? Can you get me the protocol for Jeremy? And she's like, yes, you're going to join it for me. And I went, yeah, but can I kind of I know she walks up me. <laughs> can I can I kind of do it secretly and you just like send me the protocol? And she's like, I'll do one better. I'll join you up on the in the telegram group. <laughs> and you know, I really think you should have a one-on-one -on -one with Jeremy and he can explain it to you. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I thought I'm gonna go in through the back door <laughs> and no one's gonna notice. And of course, I joined the telegram group and all of a sudden it says jck just joined the group and everyone's like oh, just, just 
text and I was like, oh. oh. So I couldn't keep it a secret. And mm -hmm. that was my shame around my health issues. So that was to do with I would, I would, I always visioned, envisioned that I would talk about it after I achieved what I needed to do and be open, but this way I couldn't hide. So that was incredible. So that was, you know, it, it was supposed it, to be. but that shows your, um, integrity because the world is absolutely beyond fed up. In fact, it, I, I would argue it's almost at a revolutionary stage with the inauthentic that is tv and bloggers and vloggers and content producers and those people that have already achieved something and are making people maybe not meaning to but it's you know the kind of youtubers you know it, it's just this is what i had today they what they're craving real relationships and because we've been through a time uh, which i call convid which the human unleashed ben hunt and, and phil escott John Gusty, we, we did over 29 reports on Convid from March 2020. And as Graham's actually compiling the best bits because we were ahead of anybody else in the world that I know of um, on, on being accurate. In fact, we were a year ahead, I think, of even the main people. But anyway, um, people have never been so isolated in the last two years. And a lot of them, even those that know what's right and what to do, uh, got ill or got put on weight or or but when i when i did this with mark and it grew very rapidly mm. and i went okay i can see what's they're ready for this and we can do this but it wasn't well organized and that's not a a comment necessarily on mark and that with this shot it just wasn't and uh, we're talking about 30 years of my work and it and i said right stop i have to set this up properly and it has to be in a format that is going to help everyone and create a, a community where they can actually talk to each literally talk yeah. to each other and grow their relationships and so i gave that scope to john and monique and monique just built this what well, graham can talk about it because of course i'm going to say it but like I, I log on to the members there and I go, oh my God, this is the most organized and beautifully put together. This, this is the, uh, 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 the everything. sales page, but yes. yeah, the community, the members area, the resources, it's just amazing. Yeah. But we also, I gave a scope of wanting uh, a forum that was not flat. I wanted it like Facebook mm -hmm. so they could do GIFs and memes and like, anyway, we found a, something called Discord, which gamers use. Yeah. And you don't need to be on anything uh, on Discord other than uh, the, the Naturally Better with Jeremy Ayers forum. But once you're in there, mm -hmm. and it took about a month for people to get used to it, but it really is like Facebook. You find a post, mm -hmm. you can comment, you can tag people, you can yeah. do links, you can, you can do all kinds of things. And there's something we call the virtual coffee lounge, yeah. where you can go in or you can arrange to go in and talk with each other. And so the group, the community, and this word community is used on many you know um i don't know organization but it really is yeah. a community they love each other and they love us thank goodness and so what we stopped because i could have i could have done many more sales last year but we stopped let's get this right and monique and john put enormous amounts of work and money to get this right so that we were ready for 2023 yeah. so that it's a beautiful thing that can grow because you know this, mm -hmm. but people might be seeing us for the first time. We're the real deal. We genuinely want to see you thrive and make relationships with each other and go off and do great work. That's our goal. Yeah, 100%. The other thing um, I, I want to share, so, so if, you, if you've just joined the video and you're watching right now, let me explain. This is Dr. Jeremy Ayres, an actropractic doctor, and he is, I have to say, and many of you who are in this awakened community have probably uh, seen naturopaths or chiropractors or osteopaths and all of these different people who are homeopaths and things, but often some of them will understand the body as a holistic being 
but they don't truly get the real, real spiritual stuff, the stuff that is kind of esoteric thing. Jeremy gets it. He gets all of it. And in this protocol that he has put together, 30 years of work, which I, no matter which way I look at this protocol, and I want to show you, I've got my protocol here in this folder. So um, when they created Jeremy's website to get this all organized because it deserved it, it deserved this platform to be properly organized. I know what it's like to, to you know, I still don't have a website because I had to hit the gr ground running and I never got a chance to stop and get things organized. And that's what you did. You got, you stopped and you got it properly and it's, it's beautiful. It's a pristine website, but um, so this is my own, this is my own protocol. Plus you get the, the, the protocol that if you, sorry, this is my own individual protocol because I'm having one-on-ones with Jeremy. But when you join the 90 day challenge, you will have a protocol that's written for everybody. And I, no matter which way I look at this, because every couple of weeks I have a meeting with Jeremy for my one-on-one. -on -one, and I kind of go, yeah, can I kind of change this? And can I just do some fasting? And he just keeps going, no, bring it back. And he keeps bringing it back. And every time I try to, like, oh, maybe I can change the, it. I'm like, oh, it always goes back to the supplements. See, this is your integrity. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that you're sharing that mm -hmm. is, and, and this is why the one-to-ones are important, but we're managing to do it with the live yeah. Q&As and the Discord, mm -hmm. is people... And I, and I hope you'll agree, the way I answer is not no, it's no. okay, let's take what you've said and look at it from a different angle and bring you back to where, because I, the reason we're here and did the course <clears throat> is we know people will self-sabotage. They know they'll self-sabotage. They know, yep. and I want Graham and Monique to talk on this thing, they know they will find a reason to convince themselves this is not for them or it's not for them right now. Yeah. It's for example, you mentioned carnivory. Um, there's actually four, three or yes, four dietary sorry. options. I should have. Yeah. Said. There's actually three, it, three or four dietary options and even plant based, which is not what I recommend. But the, the, the protocol is so much more than what you put in your mouth. Hi. But, but it was very important. What, what, sorry, Jay, but what's very important is the, the 90 days is essentially a subtraction method where we ask you, we start, into some of the things we introduce you to, I think you won't have heard of before. You'll go, really? And that's okay. But we, we ask you, and you're grown up, so you can do whatever you want. You can pay and watch and read and watch everyone do nothing, right? While you're sitting there smoking, eating, you know, toast and whatever you want, right? If you want, but, um, and watching the others. But the beauty of this is, is when you start to subtract things and the number one we ask to subtract is grains because it's yeah. the, it's a grass. It's the most difficult thing for the body to digest. And most people will break out in a sweat. You don't have to, but if you subtract just grains for 30 days, even seven days, your body's going to feel very different. And this is what we're about because we could be lying. We could be wrong. Or we could be just trying to flog you something. But when you go, and, and we ask you, don't believe a word we say. If you start doing the subtraction, Monique knows this, you know this, and certainly Graham and I know this. You, even if you're like, I don't want to give that up. <laughs> once, you, once you feel it, there's your truth. And then it becomes very powerful. And so the, the protocol I've written, which seems very long, but it's 30 years of work and it's a roadmap to refer to. And the, the, the vlogs break it down into pieces. The Q&As are there and the forums there to discuss these things. But, and it penny drops within 90 days. But once you start to uh, feel it, uh, uh, sorry, the reason I've written that protocol is so that you can understand it. I'm not a doctor that goes, right, JC, do this, do that, and bugger off and it's go away and the, do it. Right? It's not the Catholic Church, as you always say. Right? <laughs> it's not the Catholic Church. Mm. Graham. What, what you know you know all this but it, it what we've set up and the relationship you and I, I have doing the vlogs and i think the vlogs are just you know last year i got sick from being in front of the computer i was doing the vlogs in front of the computer and telegram this year i went i'm going to do it outside walking in the lake district and we didn't know what it was good but they're fantastic eh, Norbs? hello there um thank you for having me on um yeah jeremy yeah i mean i i um I can't 
I can't really commend you enough in terms of your what what you have done over 30 years is amazing and I think you need to go into more detail uh, in, in a moment about exactly what you have done for 30 years to get yourself to this point so that people truly know but Jeremy's been driven to heal people for want of a better word um, uh, since he was since he was really quite young um, and he eventually became an osteopath and, and all that sort of stuff and he's gradually perfected and, and honed his technique and and something uh, if something better comes along or he learns about something in 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 more depth and from experience with seeing seeing clients he adapts his protocol so what he's actually done is he has put into a document 30 years of healing experience and learning new modalities using them getting the feedback and the and the success or failures with with individual clients and he's built that into a protocol which will fix almost everybody. Um, and he normally does it one-on-one, -on -one, but he's, he's put it into a format where you can do it, you can follow it, you can understand it. And he's created, with the help of Monique and John, this amazing website where if you get slightly lost or you want to go deeper into certain points you can ask him on the q a you can ask him on the chat uh you go on the chat and you get support from other people who are already uh a few months into the protocol um and then what when he asked me to come on and join him i'm i'm uh, i have started the protocol i'm being a little bit slow <laughs> um, uh, uh, not as slow uh, as me <laughs> um which is fine that's all right um but the the vlogs grew out of the idea of jeremy and i i go i see jeremy pretty much every day i go around to his house we have a cup of tea we chat about the world we chat about uh, health we chat about certain things um and we have very very interesting conversations and we actually do bounce off each other and because he has a different view of of the world i'm i'm far less uh, in touch with my feelings which apparently i do have feelings somewhere but i'm not in touch with them uh, whereas Jeremy is absolutely amazing in terms of his ability to connect with how people are truly feeling. Um, and so I think we work very well together. And so we've we've bought some uh, microphones and, and, and stuff like that and a decent camera. And so we go wandering in the beautiful Lake District in different different cases in, on three times a week. And we record little snippets and chit chat. And I... As Jeremy mentioned, I enjoy complicated structures and systems. Yeah. Uh, I get a kick out of taking things apart and putting them back together again. Always have as a child. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I like to be able to take something complex and explain it to people. Yes. Um, and I've been doing this with Jack Cruz's work for the last yeah, 10 years. Yeah, you were talking about the so. structured water, I think, at the last one of the last Q&As and... Yeah, and so some of the yeah. some of the concepts are, uh, are quite complex, such as the interaction of light, how human beings are driven by light frequencies, um, mm. and they can be quite complex things to understand. And you can write it down. You oh, we lost your audio. <laughs> for a bit. The, the challenge for we me lost is, your audio for a second. There, you're back. Uh, okay, the challenge for me is is can I make this information? available to people so that they go ah, i get it now and that, i get a real kick out of that I, I i think i'm sort of somehow driven to be a teacher i enjoy you're enjoy brilliant at it things that i know um and so it, it's it's great to have the feedback where we go for a walk and we get wet in the rain and we slip in the mud uh and then we're we're talking about liver cleansing and we're, we're, we're doing a sort of 101 on liver cleanses and, it's, um, it's and really people good, comment it's a really on the videos to see. yeah it's a really good thing to see that for the audience are just explaining this sorry to cut you off graham it's a really good thing to see in real life other people doing it on camera okay and um are you there making a difference did cut off did i get cut off as soon as i went blah, blah, no blah. you're here <laughs> i can hear you okay um and so last year i was a spectator um on uh, on the on the uh, maximize the light and i saw the most amazing healing weight loss like you wouldn't believe people feeling happier people had their had their little breakdowns and their tanties and their moments um 
and at one point I did say to Jeremy, I said, what, what have you put together here? It's, <laughs> it's, it's madness in this chat here. The, 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 especially with the moons and, and the, at certain times of the month, the, the amount of uh, people were losing weight, they were losing toxicity, and there was all sorts of anger coming out. And I think what's brilliant about what Jeremy's put together is it's a way of allowing your body to truly feel how it should feel. Yes. And that at first is quite uncomfortable because we've used a lot of Stimulant. behaviors mm -hmm. and foods and substance substances to numb the feeling of, of reality, the true feeling of, of how we exist in, in, in this world. Um, and what this, this protocol does is it allows you to genuinely feel that from a solid foundation and then you can move forward without the need to reach out for a substance or a behavior yeah. that you feel is necessary and protects you and shields you. Um, so I think that, I think Jeremy, should talk, you should talk a little more about how you got here and, and so, how, yeah. what's, what's the true magic that you've woven into this 90 days? So, yeah. so basically you're establishing a baseline is what you're saying, Graham and, uh, and, and Jeremy through your protocol. And you're trying to, you, like you said, you're not, it's not the Catholic Church. This is a, this is a system of things that we're, we're like a community. We're all trying to help each other through this protocol that has taken everything into account. So Jeremy, I'm going to get you to actually answer this question to me. Um, who can you help with this? Who should join the 90 day uh, challenge, for example, and who should join the community? Who is it that you're looking at? To join this yes okay. well monique can speak on the testimonials uh after i i maybe speak here because it'll give people some idea but um the body of my work is and as graham said it started when i was very young when i witnessed uh what cancer does to a family and the anger and emotions and what have you and at 12 i went oh uh, I, this should be fixed, right? As a young boy might think, right? And my journey took me through osteopathy, which I'll be forever grateful with my first mentor, Harry Hawes, a true healer, pardon me. And I, I, I expected that there would be a course out there on how to heal the worst things that man suffers from. And as you very quickly find out, not only isn't there, but you find out they're doing everything pretty much wrong or inverted. And then you come to realize that that's by design. And that's a real bread pill to swallow when you read not the people in medicine. Most, most people in medicine are genuinely trying yeah. to or went in it for the right reasons. They don't realize what they've walked into until sometimes they're in it. And then they've got debt and status and God knows what else. But you know, I realized that my path, I honestly believe, has been divinely guided uh, looking back at it. Um, but I started to search and search for what causes dis-ease. And that's when I found out the word is dis-ease, right? Mm -hmm. Not at ease. And so when you ask me that <clears throat> question, mm -hmm. it is anyone yeah. who is not thriving, whether you be underweight, overweight, with a diagnosed label. And let's just take that word. Mm. Diagnosis is three words. Di is two, ag is not, and gnosis is to know. So if you've got a diagnosis, it's literally two people not knowing what the fuck's going on. And yet people take those labels on. They come to me and go, I have. Mm -hmm. you know, no, you don't. You know, My wife was terminally ill when I met her. Right. And uh, and being under all the terrible um, modalities that modern medicine and modern oncology give with a terminal diagnosis. And I can tell you at least two of the things causing it were mercury amalgam fillings leaking and poisoning her to death and the enormous amount of trauma and stress that she'd been through. Yeah. That's just two of them, let alone she was constantly bathed in artificial light. We're meant to be outside. So who does this help? Anyone who is not waking up feeling fully refreshed, fully recharged, positive, thriving, having harmonious relationships and looking forward 
to winning the war we're all in, which we are, and getting ready for the other side where we're going to build wonderful societies, wonderful projects. That's who it's for. And if that sounds grandiose, it isn't. Because when you look at the opposite, what they, and I'm pretty sure your audience, I don't know who they are, yeah. what they have done is inverted everything that was true and decent and honorable. In fact, the word evil is the word live mm -hmm. backwards. And so when you realize behind this is actually a very dark intent, then I realized uh, uh, that the way to, if you like, help humanity free and to hold light and be light here is to reverse what they've done, teach people. The original word of doctor means teacher. Mm -hmm. Teach them what is natural. And, and they might be surprised what that is. Teach them what natural is. And so their body, which is just the vessel that they occupy, can start to hold more voltage because you're an electrical being. And by that nature, you can hold more light. And you see it. You know, when someone is doing well, and I hope yeah. me and Norbs are examples of that, we shine positivity. Yeah. We shine. It doesn't mean we don't have occasional tanties or, you know, we're human, right? But we do most of the time, positive thoughts, positive feelings. Our life is to willing servitude. See, Norbs, what you don't see about Norbs, uh, although he isn't drinking at the moment, he's always been a pub man, but he, he, is edu he has been educating many of the riffraff, you might call them, of society in the pubs, and he's changed many lives where no one will ever see because he gives them the time and he changes their way of thinking and off they go. So that's why I brought him in, because he needs to have a greater, um, a greater platform effect. to share yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, he's and brilliant. And us living in that healthy way, because we've, you know, we've come out of this long war, and I want to talk to Monique, because she really is the front line for Naturally Better. She is the front line. She is the back end. She's the front line. She does it herself. She lives and breathes it. Um, I've never seen anyone so dedicated to your protocol <laughs> in my life. <laughs> she literally just lives it and breathes it. But what I want to say before I go to Monique is that, you know, we've been through three years of BS. I mean, we've been through lifetimes of BS. Let's get that straight. But these last Bad years science. Have, been, have been like a crucible of like the massive, massive shifts in consciousness, massive learning curve for so many people. But they've been placid with it. They've been absorbing, absorbing, absorbing all of this new information. And people are now, this year, waking up and going, what do I do now? How do I put this into practice? What do I do? And that is why I am dedicating this year to this whole transformation thing, this idea of putting it into practice to really live it and breathe it. And when you live and breathe it, that's how you help others. It doesn't have to be about Let's try. How do I wake my family up? Live it and breathe it. And here is the community to do it in. because And it's not just what you eat. There's so much more to this. And Monique, I mean, what have you said? I mean, you do that. You do it every day. She, your message and she said, I'm out and I've got my feet in the grass first thing in the morning. And she's looking up at the sun first thing in the morning. She's we, we did a re retreat together where they had bloody vegan food. Sorry, excuse me, vegans, but they had all this stuff. And she, she's having her carnivore thing. <laughs> and she's <laughs> just so, so dedicated, I, you know, just so dedicated. So, Monique, it's, tell me. It's, thank, thank God yeah. she was because she was really unwell for a long time. Yeah. Wow. Um, it, it's not dedication so much as knowing it feels really good well as again at the retreat remember the days after the retreat and you know we, we were doing all this. yes exactly and like you know if i do that now i feel it instantly right too. Yeah. I, I feel really bad um i had um six days with a friend a couple of months ago um who is vegetarian and you know i'm being polite and i'm you know i love this lady so um but i felt so sick for six days because I was eating grains and I was eating vegetables and I wasn't. No, when I'm here on my own and I have the odd bit of vegetable or I have a biscuit or a piece of cake, I'm fine because I'm having absolutely loads of meat. 
right? And fat and all the rest of it. So I I can I can do little indulgences. It's a bit like the French always say, right? Uh, a little of what you fancy does you good, right? So I don't, um, I'm not 100% on the protocol, but I just really fancy something, I'll have it, right? I, I, I don't stop myself from having a wonderful croissant in a beautiful bakery somewhere because if I fancy it, I'll have it, but I'll, come back and I'll have half a kilo of ribeye steak <laughs> but you know what I mean for my meat for my main meal um and by the way to, uh, I didn't eat steak for 30 years wow yeah because a lot of women don't and and I just want to say that I didn't that, like it that just happens to be the thing that you needed and as Jeremy said there are four different options etc yes yeah and for you the yeah and I just want to thing... add there you know yeah. if, if if Monique said I went to my vegetarian's friend house and ate nothing but vegetarian for six days, and I felt fantastic. Guess what I'd say? Good Great. Thing. Go for it, girl. Right? Mm. You can eat what you want, but what we want you to eat, and that's just a fraction of what we teach, mm -hmm. right? If Monique said I had a croissant and my stomach blew up like I was about to have triplets, I'd go, even though you love that croissant, you can't oh, digest it yet. But it, it yeah. didn't. No. Yeah, but Moni, what about the testimonials, also, I, the healing? Uh? Right, I mean, they're they're amazing. Based on your um, on your one to ones and on on um, in the group. I mean, in the group, well, I don't know. They're all an A four size page long. I've had to split them up and make separate pages on the sales page. So anybody who goes to the sales page, those are genuine um, yes. reactions from people who joined us. Could you in give an example? Just an example, like uh, well, we have coming one, off actually, alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, we had one gentleman who had um, severe heart trouble and um, so on, who's been working with Jeremy, who is in a much, much better place. Um, his wife joined. I have no idea of their age, but they're older. Um, 70s. 70s, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I told. Mm -hmm. um, and they are, I mean, she... She always says she feels 30 years younger again. Um, we have a lady in Australia who really went gung-ho with the whole protocol, um, also in her 70s, who is working her land again and is jumping wow. around again. And, um, oh, a joint pain when That's exactly, yeah. Um, she, you know, so we have people, you know, completely healing from things like arthritis and people who come off their thyroid meds in weeks and um i mean it's it's just unbelievable really and, and actually the whole thing once you're in it's simple right there's very, nothing complicated about it it is not the catholic church there's some t simple routines and things to follow and it's but the results are it's, almost instant yeah. It's holistic, so it's not just yes. food. Yeah. Because people say, "Oh, so what diet are you eating?" And I'm like, "It's it's so, it's much, so much more than that." Yeah. It's yeah, absolutely. Literally taking the artificial world that Away. we have been this unnatural yeah. way of living and turning it into yeah. the natural way of living. Mm. And once That's you right. get it, you're like, "Oh, you, you could spot it everywhere, right?" So yeah. just grounding, well, for example. Uh, do, yeah, grounding. Do, yeah, doing Major. what I do, I'm not sure I'd still be walking today if I hadn't joined in the beginning of 2022 because yeah. I am yeah. literally eight to ten hours a day in front of the computer. Yes. But, you know, the red light therapy, the being out in the sunshine in the first thing in the – okay, not like this morning when it's like <laughs> minus three degrees necessarily, but – you know, all of those things that are not diet are making a huge difference. And, and you know, I, well, as you know, I live in a bus, right? Yes. Um, so I'm in the middle of nature every morning and that's made a huge difference too. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm right there. I open my door and I'm in the yes. grass. And you, and, and so just to clarify, because a lot of people think it's just a weight loss protocol. And yes, because the majority of, the world is overweight to obese that is going to be the thing that they think of but that is a symptom right jeremy a symptom of something yeah. else 
it's a, it's a, well, it's yeah. your body oh. protecting you yeah. or whatever, swelling up, whatever it needs yeah. to do to be in homeostasis, right? Well, well th who, whatever or whoever designed us, they designed us to live off of fat, not glucose. We only have a very, very small uh, amount of glucose that we can um, work from, about eight hours reserve, and it's all gone. And we've been turned into carbohydrate junkies. But whatever, whatever or whoever made us gave us an almost inexhaustible storage system of fat, right? And so most people around the Western world are grossly overweight. And that way is several fold. Um, it is from being just far too much carbohydrates, which isn't an actual uh, necessary food. We can live without it. It doesn't mean you have to, but we can. Uh, and the body then converts it into fat, not necessarily the good fat, and stores it. But it's also in a toxic world of chemicals and heavy metals is how the body prefers to store it if it can't excrete it. And then thirdly, and possibly equally as important, if not most important, and a cliche it may be, um, people have suffered tremendous trauma. Um, whether it be consistent trauma of society and families or real trauma, sexual abuse, violence, what have you. But the, the excess weight is padding and protection. And when people do certain protocols, there's a point they come and hit what I call the plateau. And it's either their toxic plateau or their trauma plateau. And then the behaviors kick back in um, that are self-sabotaging. And I know you know this, JC, you would have gone through this many times. Now, Monique, who is a rarer creature, certainly, certainly unique for us and how wonderful we are, fortunate we are to have her. But Monique is the underweight, right? But it's two sides of the same coin. And it still went down to an inability to digest food properly and absorb it. So Monique was a vegetarian or even vegan for many, many years. And of course, the vegans out of the go, well, she didn't do it properly, but she did. And she would say, yeah, but I was pooping three, four, five times. Yeah, she was pooping everything she ate out. She wasn't absorbing any of it. So on the dietary aspect, when she embraced it, and she didn't particularly want to, but when she did, her body immediately started going, give me more, girl. Right. And she started to put weight on and healthy weight. And we've seen that frequently. But mostly it's overweight people. I spoke to a young woman the other day. I think she's 64 and she's lost 64 pounds. Right. And she's never put, and she's 64. Right. Now, after menopause, it's it's a challenge unless you do things right. And we're here to teach you to do things right. But the way is all it is a symptom once once you've lost the weight they're not talking about that they're talking about the energy they're talking about i can move again a hey, norbs i mean i want norbs to talk about the light because it's a very important po part of this so uh jeremy i just want to correct you i was never vegan or vegetarian i always yeah. had a balanced diet but oh, I wasn't one of those balanced diets. Yes, you what they call normal. a balanced diet, but not you know. I was never vegan or vegetarian, but I was obviously not absorbing, right? Omnivore, and you can also be. Can I just say, you can also be obese and not absorb as well, because that is generally yeah. a sign of nutrient deficiency because your body's going to hold it on. So there's just two sides. Well, well, it. calorie rich and nutrient poor. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the, and the, the interesting thing is we, we talk about balanced diets and most people will, uh, if, if they look at someone who's, who's got a particularly restrictive diet or a fad diet, they'll say, oh, you need a balanced diet. That's all you need is a balanced diet. Moderation. Well, maybe <laughs> if we lived in nature and we got up with the sunrise and we were outside all day barefoot, absorbing the sunlight, absorbing the magnetism from the earth, and then when the sun went down, we, we went back into our cave and we slept on some furs and, and we, we slept all night. If we were living like that, then a balanced diet would be fine. But we're living in a dramatically altered environment. In the last hundred years, we've in introduced radio waves, TV signals, radar, microwaves, Wi-Fi signals, mobile phone signals, all these things. And we've changed the lighting. We've introduced lighting in the home in the evening. Allen, as it's called, artificial light at night. It's one of the most dramatic uh, drivers of ill health over the last hundred years. And you think about it, all those things have changed. The medical system's changed. It was hijacked by the Rockefellers, as I'm sure your, your viewers will know. 
less than 100 years ago. Lighting was introduced in the, in the main. Most people experience lighting in the last 100 years. The food has changed. It's, it, we, we're given industrial feed rather than real food. So you, all these things have changed. The environment you're in, you're constantly bom bombarded by wireless signals. You've got light shining from your TV, from your smartphone, all these different things. You've got your Wi-Fi router. So when the environment has changed in ways that we can't even see, but if you look, if you look at them and you, you examine what's happened, the environment now is nothing like it was naturally. And so today, a balanced diet has to be adjusted to take into account all the environmental mess that we've got ourselves into. And so this protocol, what it's trying to do is point out that it's not just food. Your body is driven by the natural signals of the earth. You're supposed to be, we're designed over millions or thousands or hundreds of thousands of years, whatever your belief is about where we came from. But we've, we've been around as a species for a long time. And a hundred years is a tiny blink of an eye in our overall period of evolution, if you want to call it that. And so what we've got to try and do is to tap into the basic program that we were designed to function with. And it's the rising of the sun and the setting of the sun. It's the simple. I mean, it seems obvious, but how many people don't get up in time to see the sunrise? How many people, when the sun goes down, how many people switch on the lights, switch on the TV, and they sit on their phone watching stuff until midnight? Those things have massive, massive impacts on your body. And Absolutely. it's understanding the interaction of all these things along with food and the, the protocol does a brilliant job of, of presenting all these different things. It's, it's a big document. And, it, and, and when you sign up, it'll take you a few days to go through it and a few more days to, to, to sit with it and to digest it properly. And it gives you guidance as to the different areas of your life that you can focus on and begin to improve. And as you begin to improve, maybe, maybe you're terrible with the food, mm -hmm. but you begin to improve in other areas. And then the food starts to fall into place. You feel more hungry for the right foods and you can leave the, the industrial feed that you've been accustomed to, like the grains and the processed stuff. Yeah. And you begin to make changes in different areas and you, you nudge different things more towards optimal. And then the whole thing just begins to fall into place. And then, as Jeremy said, you might release toxins. Yeah. You might release things that you've been holding on to which is where Jeremy's real skill is in, in helping yeah. people overcome that barrier that they get to so many times when they've tried to improve their health in the past, they reach yeah. this barrier that they can't get beyond. And Jeremy's brilliant for, for pulling people over that barrier and just helping them uh, overcome it. And, and seeing what the core reason is, and not just action, but also what's underlying that. That's what I've noticed in my one-on-ones with him. So what would you all say is the, I mean, it, I know everything fits together in this protocol, but for me, what I've noticed more than the food is the light. Honestly, I really, really, really think that that stuffed me up over the last couple of years of working in front of computers and light and staying up and, and my whole body clock was out of whack and it stuffed up my hormones and then that stopped this and it caused all these things. Would you agree, Jeremy, that that is one of the keys of the Abs protocol? Absolutely. I mean, listen, they, uh, the, the big they, they know this because they've been using it, it in commercial animal production for many, many years. Take battery farm chickens, which are these great, it might be a different word in America or, or Australia, but these hugely long, you know, warehouse type chicken horror places. They have the lights permanently on. Now, it's not so the chickens can see who's next to them, right? It's hormonally manipulating them to lay more, well, we'll call them eggs because it's a, a bastardization of what an egg should be. The equine horse industry, particularly racehorse, they shine blue light on the horses. Blue light is the most spectrum in the, in the artificial lights that we're uh, exposed to on uh, uh, the horse, on the mares, to extend 
So hormonally manipulating them extend their fertility time, right? So they they absolutely know that light on your skin, which has light receptors uh, called uh, melanopsin, and in your eye, is what regulates your hormone, your uh, your hormonal body, and several other functions, and what's called your body clock or circadian rhythm. And so you, like so many of your audience, are very often night owls now you're not night owls you've confused your light signals so that you don't release um melatonin which is known mostly to people as a sleep hormone but it's also the hormone hormone that triggers the cells to start cleansing and rejuvenation and that's why the first question i ask is how do you sleep and what's your energy out of 10 and how do you feel in the morning well most pe if people just listening to this today answer that question it's probably i don't sleep well or i go to bed really late and they've called themselves a night owl so lots of blue light and then when they wake up in the morning if it indeed it is even is the morning they probably feel worse than when they went to bed before they went to bed and their energy is low and their voltage is low and they don't feel positive so the darkness can come in and they have dark thoughts so when you start to correct this you start to fully cleanse at night so you wake up feeling refreshed, detoxed. You, you recharge your cell membranes, which are literally like a, um, a cell phone battery, right? They discharge and they need recharging overnight. And so you wake up feeling recharged and positive and ready to go. Now, if you're not feeling that, sign up. Wow. I, um, yes. A hundred percent. I can see that this is the key. And the more I go through this protocol, the more I'm seeing that's the key for me. Um, and I'm going to be honest with everyone. Uh, you know, people always say, oh, wow, you look so amazing. You look full of light. And I said to Jeremy, <laughs> I said, but I was so healthy for like two and a half years and then I burnt out. And they're like, you weren't healthy. <laughs> you were burnt out. You were burning the candle at both ends. Yeah. You were. You You're were, on adrenals. I was on adrenals for two and a half years. Now, everybody who's watching this, you may already know, I literally burnt out. I was like, I'm done. I need a break. And then when I announced I need a break, I got a seasonal cleanse, a, a flu, right? That was the big detox moment, right? It was this big flushing out and we helped you through it. And you helped. Yes. And many of us did go through this at the same time, right? And it's this seasonal cleanse. So many of us in the community group of the 90-day challenge, which I'm going to show again, um, not just the 90-day challenge. It is um, the, uh, because, well, nearly everyone that's doing the protocol is signed up for the challenge. Is that right, Monique? Yes. Everybody, yes. Um Pretty much everybody is in the chat. Go to the right hand side in the top, um, uh, JC, sorry, and go back get to... straight into the members area. Yes. So you can show that. Yeah, well, I've got that here. Is this the, uh, because this is, uh, I'm not sure if this is my one that I'm signed into. The members area here. Member sign in, top right corner. Yes. Yeah. The, well, the members area is what everyone will have access to once yes. they sign up. And I just want to say mm -hmm. that um, if you sign up, we have a no quibble uh, money back guarantee. And we do that um, not because that's what everyone does. It's so that you've got zero excuse not to come in and see and start meeting the community. And How many refunds did you do last year? Out of out of four, one thousand four hundred people, very uh, few. Not even ten, I don't think. Yeah, and I we think those. Uh, I I read two of the emails. They they were both from vegans, and we've had loads of vegan vegans go through and come out positively better. But uh, two of them were vegans who tend to be the angriest people I know. And one of them said I should study Dr. Robert Morse, which I have. Oh, yes. And my recommendation is don't follow Dr. Robert Morse. Dr. Robert Morse. So I've studied well, yeah, most of the well-known doctors and philosophers, and I'm here 30 years on saying what I'm saying for the reason that I continually see people heal even from the most serious uh, conditions, God willing. 
So some of my audience members... I think oh, you're, you're doing, sorry, you're doing it in group as well as some um, one-on-one. So yeah. I have to say, uh, a lot of people that did last year have started this year. Yeah. And you can start whenever you want. It's live at the moment until April, but it, the, most of the people came in after April last year and you joined the community anyway. But the, those that have rejoined this year, they felt last year was almost like their foundation and they're ready to do it. They had great results, and then people don't fall off the wagon. They jump off the wagon for differing reasons. Mm. They feel like crap, and then they get back on, and it's a good learning lesson. So a lot of the community are back for the second year, and it, you know what? They, I think the, the message is they're, they're really ready. So yes. what's wonderful about that is in the forum, when you ask questions, most of the community are answering it before I even get around to seeing yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. But I do want to say how generous you are in answering the questions and Monique and Graham pop in and answer the questions. But Jeremy's in there. It's like you're getting a consultation anyway um, with him, you know, but I would recommend having had several consultations with Jeremy that throw away your psychiatrist <laughs> And you're, so honestly, throw them away, throw away your counsellor, because Jeremy listens, and I swear to you, every time, and now I am the biggest know-it-all on the face of the planet, okay? I'm a walking encyclopedia. I know everything. This guy knows 10 times more than me. <laughs> and so, when, so when I'm just sitting there going, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Oh, or I try and like pull one over on him. And can I just, I'm going to confirm for you, Jeremy, <laughs> I'll leave it for our session this Thursday. But um, I tried to ask Spirit <laughs> through my pendulum if I could kind of deviate from your protocol by, because Jer Jeremy was like, everyone knows I'm hardcore into fasting, right? And Jeremy's like, JC, you can't fast. Just don't fast. <laughs> Like your body is telling you, don't fast anymore. Just do what I tell you to do. Eat when you're hungry. Don't eat when you're not hungry. And in my head, I woke up this morning and I'm like, I think I need to fast. <laughs> I'm going to check my pendulum and I'm going to sit here and ask a whole bunch of questions. And I'm going to see what does my body say that I need to do. <laughs> And I swear to God, I was expecting it to say, yeah, just fast, you know, how many days to fast for, how many hours, blah, blah, blah. Eat meat. <laughs> it literally spelled eat meat. And I said, should I be fasting? No, eat meat. <laughs> and I went through the list of things that and it just kept going back to the protocol. Do I need to take this? Do I, I started deviating. I kept asking. I was testing the pendulum. And I was being like, I was trying to just allow it to answer the correct things, which was supplements and things like that. And people can test this for themselves with the, with the pendulum. This is what I teach with the dowsing. It kept going back to that, no matter what I do. Well, that doesn't surprise me because, and, and you should know better because you, you were the one that asked the man upstairs and he, and he hopefully gave you the answer. So, you know, I, I feel I have a very close relationship with what I call the man upstairs whatever it is or isn't. And the other thing is um, w fasting is one of my greatest tools mm -hmm. for particularly really ill people that are carrying weight. Those that are underweight, we have to get them fat to try and then fast them if possible. But there is also, um, as you know, and it's what I've been teaching you because, you know, without sharing anything that, that is personal between you and me on your case, is I can see your dis-ease. Yeah. And one of the message is what we're trying to get to your body. So your body is willing and, uh, uh, and without fear, open and release. And in your case, your body, you need to have, you've got what we call the classic tubercular block. You're all here, right? And you're blocked off from this, right? And I need you to have a relationship with your body. And the only way to do that is to start to feel it. So I don't want you to fast. I want you to, oh, I am hungry. 
and eat or no i'm not hungry that's just i smelt something or you know i heard da, 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 on the radio and i'm thinking of a mcdonald's or because all that's manipulation by design and so once you start to hear your body and feel your body you've won the war really it's just about how long it's going to take to undo it and that's what you are getting better and better and when you when you get that the results you crave you you will get and and you know but that's why it's this ease you know and you're doing a great job and it's it's, it's it great working with i you. am healing yes and i am healing from the inside out it's that's the way it is like it's not just the result on the scale and and for a lot of women it's going to be the same so basically i don't know how long we've been talking for we've been speaking just over an hour okay great so there was, um, yeah, yeah, look, I, I tested some more things with the pendulum and it just confirmed a lot of stuff. And for me, I realized that there's a lot of things that just in your sessions, the undoing of a, lifetimes, generational things, um, and, and in that detoxing that also got cleared. So this is a process, everyone, but why not join? Why not join us? And um, Graham, what do you want to say? I, I was just going to say that... Um, so that people have a, a clear picture. Jeremy's obviously got amazing talents and an experience, and he wants to share his knowledge and skills with as many people as possible, but he wants to do it in a way which is workable. And so the protocol itself, if you just read the document and take on board some of it and begin to work through it on your own with no input from anyone else, that will help lots of people. If you do, if you read the protocol and you join the Discord chats and you start to ask questions and read and interact and you watch some of the vlogs that Jeremy and I, Jeremy and I do, that will help you even more and you'll be able to go even further into it. And then we have these Q and A's, which are amazing. They're every week and they're video. And so, although you can have a one-on-one -on -one with Jeremy as you're doing, you know, which is more expensive, uh, uh, understandably, because it's it's an exclusive thing, you can get time with him, and he'll really go through and get to the absolute uh, real what it, what your issues are in a real uh, nutshell. But between the protocol and the one-on-one -on -one is the Q and A, which is you can ask Jeremy something. And he'll he'll do a sort of a mini consult with you on a Q&A and he'll do it in front of other people. So it's a it's a real proper learning experience for you and the other members who are watching. And the Q&As are amazing. So that's like a halfway between here's the protocol and here's a one on one. And so and then you've got the the, the, the chats and the, and the, the instant almost instant response to questions. So it's it's a whole range of services that are available and if you get really stuck or you get you, you begin to open up and you realize you've got some deeper issue that's preventing you then the one-on-one -on -one is always available to you but you don't need the one-on-ones it's that's not it's not here to sell jeremy's not trying to sell one-on-one -on -one packages he's here to help as many people as possible yes. with the structure that monique's put in place and i think and it I, works amazingly well i think the one-on-ones are really 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 valuable to those of us who have chronic things or things that we've been you know, there might be a chronic case of some kind. You might need one one-on-one. -on -one. You might need to do it for six months. I'm going to do it, I think, for six months, I think we've said. So, um, you know, and that was something that, because that was it. This is it. This is the crunch time for me. I'm here publicly exposing my weaknesses, basically. And I'm telling people when I'm stuffing up. And I, I've always been transparent like that. So um, I was just saying that the, the value of the community should not be underestimated either in this whole scenario. So And the humour. Well, <laughs> the I mean, that's memes. part of parcel of it, right? But <laughs> Jeremy's knowledge is amazing. And we now have a year's worth of people, or, or sorry, a group of people who've had a year of the teachings and, and, and the rest of it. And some of them really have, you know, integrated it fully so when you come into yeah. the community i think it was mentioned already but you know there's always several people that can answer the questions everybody is helpful everybody is supportive 
it, even just a month or six weeks in last year, I was saying it's like it's the community that that really, you know, make this so special because suddenly people are not alone any longer, right? And there's real, real, um, real relationships that are forming between the members. Um, and now with Discord, we've actually got the opportunity for people to do what we're doing here, right? In a private space, you know, ha have a lounge and, and chat with each other either on camera or off, whatever they want to do. Um, but, I, yeah, opened, I, mean, I opened the chat lounge out of curiosity the other night. And there was a, the Q&A going on. I was like, oh, okay, okay. And I was lying in bed going, shit. <laughs> so everyone got to see. <laughs> you know, and I was like, oh, okay. I guess I'm listening to the Q&A. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, yeah, I think I think we were, I think that was the Naturally Better book club. We, we do a oh. book a month uh, that I recommend. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I was like, what is so it? it? It is beautiful. And, the, and, and I think I hope people can see there's so much – genuine light and laughs i mean look we hear some tragic things right yeah you know that's the one-to-ones that you you just about i've heard about every horrible thing that human beings can do to each other right and and we hear it also in the group but th there's been tears lo lots of laughter i mean all norbs and i are doing is which is what my my darling wife has always suggested we did is you guys should put a camera on YouTube because it's normally in our kitchen or out walking. And we, we really have some of the best discussions, but we've turned those into vlogs and there's some ridiculous British humor with. <laughs> we <laughs> no, it's Jeremy. As well. The AI spiders. With valuable us. content, valuable content as well. And stunning views. Um, Can you know, just but say it's, it's, you live in the best yeah. part of the UK Le the Lake yeah, District was my favourite place when I went there last year. Absolutely gorgeous. And to it see the gorgeous. scenery and these two guys chatting. And <clears> let's face it, guys, there is, I have to say, in the Awakened community, hell of a lot of women compared to the men. And to see two men talking about mm. not just um, facts and factual things, but starting to get to the emotions and the nitty gritty and i know graham you said that you don't like to share your emotions but it's very lovely sort of starting to see these things coming to the surface in your discussions and isn't it can i can i just <laughs> ask graham when with having to let go of one or two of your vices did you start to feel things coming to the surface that you hadn't thought before or felt? Um, it's interesting. Jeremy and I have had a discussion about that. Um, I know that I, I do have feelings. I'm not an unfeeling, miserable person. Uh, I do have feelings, but I, I don't have, um, of should we say, I don't have extreme ups and extreme downs. I, I'm very steady, you, you are. steadfast yeah. sort of mm -hmm. journey through life. Um, and so I no, I don't think I have experienced. I, I've experienced the sort of um, the withdrawal symptoms. You're very at the moment. Brain. I'm still dealing with the withdrawal. I'm not brain. yet. I'm not yet aware of any particular feelings coming to the surface. But I, I think my my character they will. has. They will come. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm uh, Jeremy has already warned me that I will. <laughs> I will begin to feel that. But my my character tends to attract people with problems. Uh, I attract interesting people who are also a bit dangerous because I have this stability. Um, they can be chaotic and, and energetic and rowdy towards me, and I'm able to absorb it and withstand it and then hopefully right. rebound it back to them in, or back to them or back to somebody else. Um, so I see energy in terms of, people being incredibly positive or incredibly depressed. It's just, it's just an up and a down, a left and a right. It's not necessarily a good or bad. It's just mm. energy that's bouncing around and vibration. And so I interact with people who are very energetic because I can kind of somehow cope with it. Yes. So I, I don't, I don't feel, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't have a strong emotional presence myself. Okay. 
but you're I very, do well in very to others. Left who, who, brain. You're very left brain. Well, yeah. that's why we work so well together. It's kind of like the yin and yang yeah. team. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yes, brilliant. So, guys, we'll, we're going to wrap it up here. But, like, honestly, um, I have been wanting to do this forever, but then I got really unwell with disease and detoxifying and burnt out and all of that, and I am still recovering. And all of this is making me heal faster than what most people would do. So... Down below, there will be the special links, very easy to remember links that I've created so that you can go straight to Jeremy's website, Naturally Better, which is being created. I'll just quickly share the screen and I'll show you again. It is a very beautiful website. This is the link. There will be a link for the 90-day healing protocol. It will be down below. Click that. Join it. Come. Come and be with me. Come and be with me and do this with me, okay? We can all talk about this. No matter what your philosophy is, please, I urge you, this is not a cult. This is not the Catholic Church. This is not a carnivore lovers society. This is whatever is going to get you into being in a naturally balanced way. Uh, There'll be another link for jeremyayers.com. And there will, there's also a, a, a tab up here where you can go and join the community there. But I do, I would suggest that you also, I've got three links. There's another link that will take you directly to joining the private community. So you might not want to do the 90 day challenge. You want to sign up for the community. That's okay. You can do that. You can have access at $17 per month to join the community and, and get they get access to the discord and they can get all the information etc okay you don't have to join the challenge but if you are in the challenge you are part of the community is that correct right yeah you okay. get every you get every you get i mean the 90 day is the 90 day is my preference because you get into the community in the members area anyway for three months and and then after that you can continue on at seventeen dollars a month if you like but right. you know we we did we finished a q a yesterday and people were saying they're never going to leave you know because they just love it so much and that's that's a real compliment to us but again i want to thank you jc because you know, as i started i'd like to finish your audience i believe follows you because they recognize integrity mm-hmm. and you coming on and doing this um, quote unquote publicly and in, in the private members area maybe but still publicly yeah. has helped more people than I think you'll know so thank you thank you thank you for your services and thank you for helping me and um, helping me put some incredible dots together that I never knew and if it wasn't for the one-on-ones and for me listening to my intuition about uh, about reaching out to you that was a big thing Monique knows this about me. I hate asking for help. I do not like asking for help. For me to reach out to you and ask for help, knowing what, you know, and I just, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I was trying, I'm like, how do I do this? How do I ask for help? How do I reach out? Because I'm this know-it-all who knows everything about diet and blah, 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 blah. And yet I need help. So if you need help, everybody and i know there's many very learned people out there please come and join you will learn this even if you join and and as they said there is a um is it like a money back guarantee but you can join and we've got the links so absolutely all, we're all ready to to help you monique yeah yes yeah, so i just wanted to say not only is there um the money back guarantee it should you want it but very few have ever done um, but we can also offer discounts um, if people are really struggling financially, um, but they're on well and they want to join. All they need to do is get in touch. It's it's all described on the sales page, but I just wanted to make sure that people know this too. Okay. So don't don't let finances be a barrier. If you need our help, we're here. Fantastic. Doesn't that just say everything there? Yeah. <laughs> right. We mean what we say. We're here to help. Absolutely. Thank you. And I'm going to transform in front of all of your eyes. And I think people have noticed it already. I know we've got to wrap up, but I have to say it. My personality has changed. I am a lot I can calmer. See it. 
I'm a lot calmer. I'm much more willing to see both sides of the story. The anger has dissipated, which is telling me that my liver must have um, must be healing. And and there's a lot of uh, shifts in me. I'm feeling a lot more centered and balanced, even though I came out of one of the worst blues that you've ever had and burnt out. Still as busy as ever. But I have even say, though you came out one of the best flus, the best flus you've ever had because it was upgrade. such a deep and needed cleanse. So <laughs> much, so much came to the surface. And I said, I either go through this, I, I have to embrace it because it was clearing out all the emotional trauma and grief and all of that stuff. But this is was the rock. This program was the rock. So I know I should have finished this probably about 15 minutes ago. I just had to add those bits in. Thank you, guys. We will bring you back on um, in the future for an update. Uh, I'll talk about how I'm going in in the future, and we'll probably bring some people on who've done the, you know, who've who've doing the challenge and what they're experiencing. Sounds great. Okay, excellent. Wonderful, guys. Thank you so much for coming on. Love you all. So thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks. Deirdre. Links below, links below. See you later, guys. Thank you. See you, see you on the other side. Bye. <laughs>